So that would be a question that you can ask 100 people and probably get 100 different answers. Um, and I think the real answer is that you need a blend of both. Both is really important to any role. Um, my first conversation with any hiring manager is about who do you want to spend 40 hours a week with every week. So there's always this thing of do we find them, do we find somebody to fit our team and you get the same same. There's no unique people left in it anymore. Everyone's just the same at the end of the day. There's a conflict between having diversity and having this uh, culture DNA that is homogenous or consistent with how we go to market and what we do. It's really important that you get the right skills to fill the role uh, and if you're talking to the average hiring manager they'll be really really focused on that. As talent acquisition professionals um, we also look for by definition talent um, and talent can be defined by a set of competencies so it may be the case that somebody can do a role really really well even though it's not in their direct experience to this point in time. Don't think about work, think about people doing meaningful things together. I personally think it's finding the right skill set. If you're basing it all on cultural fit, but they don't have the right skills, you'll end up with a whole team of people that fit really well together. They, you know, they culturally, um, the whole team works, socially they work, but how do they work as an actual team? But we also need to make sure we have the right skills for it. But also, if that manager leaves, will this person still be right for the organisation as a whole? So I think there's a bit of a blend with how we find that person. If I had to make a decision, more towards culture. You can, you can, train, you can train for skills, you can train for experience, you can, you can teach them that, as long as they represent you in the way you want to be represented or your organisation. Uh, but you can't actually reverse it.